Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to solve for x and y, given that x plus y is 24. We'll call that equation 1. And xy is 48. we call that equation 2. Going into equation 1, where we have x plus y is 24, we can make one of the variables the subject of the formula by simply subtracting the order from both sides. So if we are trying to make y the subject of the formula, I will subtract x from both sides. Or if we are trying to make y the subject of the formula, I will subtract x from both sides. So in this case, x is going to be 24 minus y. Or y is going to be 24 minus x. So whichever we have made the subject of the formula, we are going to uh, substitute into the second equation here to find the other variable. So for instance, let us go with x is equal to 24 minus y, this one. And when we do that, we go into this equation and substitute for x, meaning we will now have 24 minus y into y is equal to 48. This is what we will then solve to solve for y. And then when we are done, we come back into this equation to substitute the new value that we get from this equation. So let us expand the bracket 24 minus y times y. 24 times y is 24y. And minus y times y is y squared equal 48. If we are rearrange this or uh, divide through by a negative, because first of all, rearranging the left hand side, we have negative y squared, then plus 24, y is equal to 48. We can bring 48 to the left hand side to so have y squared plus 24y minus 48 is equal to 0. Now let us divide through by negative 1, all through. This way, the coefficient of y squared here is positive. This is because this leads to a quadratic equation, and we want the coefficient of y squared to be positive. And then we can now use uh, a quadratic formula to solve for y. Or first we check if this is factorizable. The factors of 48 are 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12. Is there anything else? We can have 6 and 8 as well. So we need to look for a combination of these factors such that when added together, it gives us 24. If this equation is to be factorizable. But looking at what we have, there's currently none of them that gives us an addition that leads to 24. For that reason, we're going to apply the quadratic formula to solve for y. And if we are given the default quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, x is usually negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In our equation, our a is going to be the coefficient of y squared, which is 1 in this case, and b is negative 24, c is positive 48. We're going to substitute each of those into this given quadratic formula to solve for our y. So I'm going to list out the parameters. We said a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 24 and then c is 48. This is the equation. So we say y 
is equal to negative negative 24 then plus minus the square root of b squared is negative 24 squared and minus 4 into 1 into c which is 48 then divided by 2 into 1 therefore y is equal to 24 plus minus the square root of 24 squared is 576 then minus this is 192 all divided by this gives us y is equal to 24 plus or minus the square root of let us subtract 192 from 576 I have 418 over 2 now the square root of 384 we are going to quickly do a long division for that 384 divided by let's start from 2 this is 192 this is 9648 24 12 this is 6 and then we can say 6 here or 2, 2 here is 3, 3 here is 1. So we have 2, 2, 2. So that's 64. So 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So we have the square root of that, which is equivalent to the square root of if we apply swords in this problem that's going to give us uh, the square root of 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so we have 64 times 6 which is equivalent to square root of 64 times square root of 6 which is equal to 8 root 6. Therefore, all of this is now 8 root 6. I have y is equal to 24 plus or minus 8 root 6 all over 2. But then separate uh, y into 24 over 2 plus or minus 8 root 6 over 2 2 here is 12 and 2 here is 4 therefore y is 12 plus or minus 4 root 6 and this is the final answer for y now we can go back into uh, the substitution here as we said earlier we've gotten a value for y now we substitute into this to get our x, 24 minus y. Here we can say y1 is 12 plus 4 root 6. And then y2 is 12 minus 4 root 6. So it implies that x1 is equal to 24 minus y1 which is x1 equal 24 minus 12 plus 4 root 6 which will give us x1 is equal to 24 minus 12 minus 4 root 6 giving us x1 is equal to 12 minus this is not needed here. 4 root 6. 
So we do the same thing for x2 for x2 that is going to be 12 minus no 24 rather 24 minus 12 minus 4 is 6 I'm going to transfer that over here so x2 is 24 minus 12 plus 4 is 6 x2 is equals to 12 plus 4 is 6 which is our final answer. So if we bring them together, we say x1, y1 is equal to this, 12 minus 4 root 6, comma, y1 is this, 12 plus 4 root 6. And x2, y2 is simply like a reversal of that, which gives us 12 plus 4 root 6, and then 12 minus 4 root 6. And this is our final answer for this problem. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you in my next